Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Saeed TV. We are live for Straight Jacket Podcast. Podcast 273. Ramadan Mubarak to everybody who's fasting around the world. You know what I mean? Whether you're in the UK, whether you're in a different country as well. Ramadan Mubarak, man. Day two already. Hope it's going good for you. Hope you're spiritual. Hope you're, you know what I mean, man. Ramadan's a good time. Family. And yeah, man, alhamdulillah, man, you know what I'm saying? Everything's all good, man. And Nuruddin, we're doing a straight jacket podcast when it's still light outside, man. It feels a bit weird. Well, if I'm seeing your, your 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 curtains are down and the light is on, man, how are you, man? How are you? It's good, bro. Big up to you. Uh, listen, Ramadan, Mubarak to all the people worldwide, innit? Uh, big up to Come everybody, on. especially to our brothers and sisters who are suffering. Yeah. Palestine at the moment, but also in Sudan. Absolutely. People in the Congo. Yeah, Congo. You know yep. what I mean? People in Tigri region, Ogaden region, you know what I mean? Yep. All mm. all over the place. So, and anybody else who's oppressed in it. So love and light, yeah. hopefully. You know what? It's not peace. We want liberation. That's the language. Yep. And solidarity with Diana Abbott. Obviously, some Muppet is calling her out saying that she should be shot and all that. Some Tory. Yo, Muk, 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 billionaire guy, mate. Is saying that report come out that she should be. She's the, like the first black MP in this country. She gets more abuse than anybody else. So we stand in total wow. solidarity with Diana Abbott. Um, mm -hmm. we'll send our love and liberation to her. Big up, bro. Yeah. No, absolutely, man. Big up to everyone who's locked in, man. Smash the like button. As you can see, I'm on the uh, added to the injury list of my United order. <laughs> Broski. They got him. The they got Saeed yeah. as well. <laughs> they got Saeed. <laughs> the one thing I'll say about Saeed. Said will be back soon because you don't have to contend with that shambles of a medical team. Said will be back soon. <laughs> I'd rather look after myself than see that medical exactly. team, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. But Trust then again, me. the NHS medical team make help anyway. You know what I mean, bro? The NHS you're is not running the United, yo, admit it. Yo, the people there are doing amazing, but they're running the place Oh, now. man, you know what? i got to give it to them, man. It's a circus. When I went in there, man, you know what I mean, bro? It was an absolute circus. People running around. They, you know what I mean? They're overstaffed on that, man. I wanted understaffed, to leave straight away, man. Overstaffed. I needed the they're help. Understaffed. They're understaffed. Yeah. They're understaffed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, Stressed man. Out. So yeah, yeah. big up to them, man. But, 
Yeah, man, I should be back within. I want to be back for the Liverpool. Game. Even though, yeah, people are saying to me, "Do you really want to be back for the Liverpool game? Do you really want to see another massacre?" Because Lurid, we were there for the five nil. You know, I know we. And by the way, I wasn't there for the two one Lurid. I didn't go to Ten Hag's game, the first home game, because I was doing the MTO traffic. I think you were, you didn't go inside the ground, did you? I, as well, I, I didn't, I didn't you go. didn't go. So I've not seen a Liverpool win <laughs> in a long well, while. So I want to well, see it. I want to stop their quadruple, man, or whatever they're, what else they're doing, man. So hopefully, if I can get there on crutches, I will. If not, then it might have to be a watch along, man. It might have to be a watch along. But listen, big up to everyone who's locked in. Seen all the Edwards stuff. Yeah, apparently he's rejected United, apparently. That's what they're saying. Either he's gone to Liverpool. What's your thoughts on that, Norden, quickly, before we talk about the main subject? Like, Liverpool don't mess around, did they, man? I'm so pissed off, man. They got Edwards again, man, because it's like, I wanted him to suffer a little bit. But just look how they, like, transgress from Klopp leaving to now, right, we're going to make sure the foundation is set for the new manager and bring in Edwards, man. Look how quickly they, they don't mess around, man. And you know what? You know that. Off, bro. But you know that I understand that, innit? So you knew that was a power struggle, innit? It was Edwards and Klopp, and Klopp obviously yeah, won that power struggle. Yeah, 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 and, of course, um, of course, of course. So, so now he's coming back. He's coming back to help them build the foundations, like you said. Liverpool are, listen, mm. say whatever you want about FSG. They know about sport. You know what I mean? They know, yeah. they're, not like the, they're not like the Glazers. They actually care. They've got mm. people who come regularly to games and all of that stuff. So, and to be fair to Liverpool, man, ooh, boy. City, where's Steve, man? Where's Big Steve, man? He got his team got absolutely slapped all over the show. out here. And if and if and if, was, if 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 um Diaz had shooting beats, mate, it would have been curtains. Mate. I know curtains. I know Liverpool would have been curtains. And then that's what I'm saying to you about Ten Hang morning about injuries. How many players Liverpool have? Like they've got injuries, they've yeah. got players who are coming back, just coming back from injuries. Come on now, behave mm. yourself. You had to mix and match, you had to bring people on. And do what is done, but the team still play the same way. They keep the ball. See how Liverpool keep the ball. Miss me out with that, man. Miss me out with that. So I even said I've watched. Honestly, we're gonna talk about it because we're gonna talk about the Ineos news and all that. But we're gonna talk about more about everything else that's going on with Ten Hag. But I just the excuses of the injuries to me. That's what I'm mainly attacking. That's done for me. You can't use that. Because Manchester United as a football team, we don't have yeah. any in our game. There's no structure in our game. And you what? know what? I've watched. Games all this week and last week, this week, I'm just gonna watch so many games just to You're see. You're so jealous, isn't it? Because my... I went to the game, innit? I went to the game. And yeah, then yeah, I yeah. came back. And I'm like, yo, what did I see? You know what I mean? What did I see? So it's, it's unbelievable. And the last game that I was at, actually, talk about Liverpool, was the 1 1 where we got a draw. Every other game I've been there, we got slapped. Wow. Remember? Wow. Well, yeah, Where one we, one. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one as well. Yeah, yeah, one one. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And actually, yeah. go to Jose. Go we beat them. Yeah, yeah. No, so Jose. Yeah, Jose. We beat them in it. We beat them too. Yeah, one Jose Rashford, Rashford. Rashford. Yeah, Rashford. Rashford him goes, in. Yeah, yeah. yeah Hundred percent. Hundred percent, man. Uh, big up to Gurpi for becoming a member of the channel. Like, big up to Berkey. W's in the chat for Gur Gurpi. Musa, my Ramadan Mubarak, bro. Hope you're well, man. Um, how Ramadan you doing, bro? Mubarak, I'm here, man. I'm here. Survival. Just in the office. What's happening? Yeah, Ramadan Mubarak. Come on, man. How you doing, man? How you doing? What's this club saying, man? What's this club saying, man? Uh, this club made me stick, man. I told you about it already. Can Chuck, you hear me? What's Chuck going on us. there? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you, bro. We can hear you clearly, yeah. Ah, uh, United, man. United is, man. It's the same old, man. I saw the Ahmed, I saw the Ahmed thing yesterday, and I was just like, it's another one. It's like, and they, they bullied, the, they like, I think, I don't know if he got bullied, but it's like, he posted something which is ambiguous, but you can make your own conclusion. It's not like a, an official statement, anything's mm -hmm. come out. And it's like, it's one of those things as well. It's like, it's like when you um, stop following one of your brethren online and you unfollow them and they start ringing you up, like, why are you unfollowing me for? You're like, oh, bro, do I have to follow you? Do I have to follow you? Like, you know, they make a big deal. Like, there's so yeah, many yeah. people that I know who post that like, in real life, I have banter with them. But online they post not they post nonsense. So I just unfollow them. I'm just not really into what you're posting online. And then they make mm -hmm. a big deal. It's like you're falling out, this and this. It's not a big deal. It's just online, isn't it? So for me, mm -hmm. I feel like if you can't express yourself online how you're feeling without it being taken literal, like you should be able to go online and 
just delete what you want to delete, post what you want to post to an yeah, extent, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, and it's I a self-expression. Yeah, it shouldn't be taken mm. as literal, but to the point where, as a young man as well, a young footballer who's come from Africa, from the west coast of Africa, to Italy to play his game and his trade, then move to United, all under the age of what nineteen years old, you know, to go and to go out on loan to Rangers, man. Then we forget up Scotland, you know, as a young boy, oh, the and it had to have. Know. Yeah, and to find it difficult as well when you go up there up to but that shows you how hungry he is to then come back, go to Sunderland in the championship and do what he's done and then come to United, the dream Much of up. his life, and not yeah, not get the opportunity that he's get is in his feelings. So it, when you're in your feelings as a young person, you might do something like that where you just you know what, I'm just gonna delete everything. I don't want to see this because it's making him feel away. But then it goes to the point where he's like, oh, he's disrespecting the club, he's disrespecting the manager, like flipping it. Like, where are we going? He hasn't even said a word towards the manager. He hasn't said a, wo- a word towards anyone. He's chosen to deactivate his Instagram. It's up to him if he even has one in the first place. It's up to him if he even posts anything to do with Man United in the first place. He's chosen to do so. He's taken it off. And what? For me, I'm just like, let the young boy be in his feelings. He's upset he's not getting game time. So he's in his feelings. No no bad. No, no one hurt. So I didn't like seeing how um, the community took that on yesterday, especially the Man United community. I think some people made a bit too much of it. I guess those who wasn't supporting that, I guess we're in an era where you've got to create content with whatever's released. So they've done what they did. But I think there was a lot of you know people in the community like who do what we do who kind of went overboard on him. And I think he's a young you know lad that? and supporting. Mm. You know what's mad? Yeah? I think mm. that's a common theme with just a general Man United, you know, when you deep it, like, you look at the Sancho situation, you're looking at so much situations in the past where someone unfollows, someone likes certain posts, like, broski, like, footballers will do what they want to do. They don't give it, like, really the truth, they don't really give a shit about the fans, you know, like, when they do their thing, yeah, they do their thing on their own terms, yeah. you know what I mean? On the football pitch is where they have a jurisdiction to play for the fans, yeah? But off the pitch, Honestly, man, I'll be, I'll be really honest with you fans there. Yeah? They don't really give a shit about us, yeah? Like, they, they yeah. might claim to, yeah? But they don't really give a shit. So that's what I'm saying. When players do stuff off the pitch, yeah? Like, when Rashford thing happened, I wasn't really too mad about it. I said to people, like, he could do what he wants to do, but he has to remember, on the football pitch is where you got to perform. You know what I'm saying? So, end of the day, man, it's my United, isn't it? It's the whole image, man. You've got to be an image <laughs> on and off the pitch. And if you're not doing that, the club will look at you as well and say, hold on a minute. You're not you're not giving us a bit of ratings off the pitch, so that's where it's coming from. You know what I'm saying? So big up to Killer saying I'm getting a Donny treatment by Eric ten times concussed, bro. See, I don't know. <laughs> One thing about United, yeah, I've noticed, the way players get alienated, yeah, it doesn't happen at other clubs, man. I, I don't know, man. Our, our club, man. When the players get alienated, yeah, they get alienated properly, man. Like I mean, like. To the point where you just don't see about them, you don't hear about them, you don't, you know, what I mean, nothing, bro. You get me? They just go out and ghost. You know what I'm saying? You don't even hear yeah, about because them. it happens, like, man. I think it happens. You. I think it happens, and I think yeah. another thing our club likes to do. If you look at Donny Van Der Beek um, and Sancho, and um, their their um, present clubs now, where they're on loan, have said that the level of time these men have had out of the game, it's like someone who's coming back from an ACL injury, mm. and it's like, and they said that even though we're getting all these reports about they're not performing, they're not. They said that when a person comes back from a long-time layoff, we don't expect them to perform straight away. And the fact that, um, the fact that, example, um, they take long to get up to pace is not an indication that they're not good enough. So their last couple of games, they both had good games, and both their managers are saying that this is what we expected for the amount of time that they weren't playing at Man United, that we had them in, 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 mm. in the darkness, in the rooms. But now they've had the last couple of two games where they've stepped up and everyone and, and everyone's, and then the reports come out, oh, they've had good games. Man, them, they were like, especially for Donny, he's, he, he hasn't played for about three years. The bread yeah. hasn't played football for, for about a solid three years. There's people Man who's had... to be a real Ferdinand. Real Ferdinand interview, yeah. bro. Who remembers that interview on Real Ferdinand? I remember that. Begging to start. <laughs> Man was yeah. begging, yo, listen, play me, man. Play me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and that's the crazy, problem. Man. So, and I feel like people talk about player power. Well, the manager has the same amount uh, of power where he's able to just send a man to eat with the kids, send a man out of the uh, of the, di- of yeah. the diner, and say, you're not, you know, what I mean, you're gonna train here. You're gonna. I feel like everyone has their own in their own bracket their privilege. You know? There's prayer, mm. there's player privilege. Mm. 
there's manager privilege. People use it how they see best to to push their career and whatever they're trying to achieve and let it be and just move on. But I think that the, the problem I think we have or what I have is that the club have a, have an, have an, or there's an expectation from the fan base that the club within all of that should have its own rules and regulations and its own ethos and its club culture that kind of oversets all of that and makes everybody get in line. And I think the fact when you, when you go into a workplace that has no culture, People start to create their own. People start to do their own thing. And that's what you're just seeing on Man United. When you're seeing players do their own thing, managers do their own thing. Like, if a club had a culture and a way of doing things, Eric Ten Hag wouldn't have been able to do to Sancho what he did. He wouldn't have been able to do that. He would have been able to discipline yeah. him, but it would have been within the culture of the club. They would have sat down. Yeah. They would have had conversations. They wouldn't have allowed an asset of 83, 85 million pounds at the age of 22, 23 without injury to just sit there. Who does that? Except for Man United. Yeah. 100% man. I think this comment here, someone put in here, um, the amount of players, CR7, Ronaldo, De Gea, all utterly disrespected. Ronaldo warned us, but we didn't listen. Listen, there's a, there's a lot, man. There's a lot to take in, man. Like I said, man, it's a lot to take in with this manager, man. But let's yeah. get into the main um, gist of the uh, podcast today, yeah, which is about Ineos, basically. I don't know, man. They're a bit 50-50 on whether to kind of sack Eric Ten Hag, man, now. The feeling is that now a host of intermediaries have started touting their clients for their manager position at Man United. But there's a feeling in some quarters of United that it would be only fair to Eric Ten Hag if he would judge once new owners have performed their structure in place. But then it also carries on to say that Eric Ten Hag is well-respected amongst Ineos hierarchy and there's a feeling that he has not been helped by the structure surrounding him. However, there's an acceptance that he will be on shaky ground if May United qualify for Champions League. You know what it is, man? I don't know what it is, Nordin, yeah, but do you feel a bit uneasy? Like, you don't really know what's going on, yeah? The, fe- the, the Premier League feels like it's... um. What's the word I'm looking for? It feels like pre-season mode. You know what I mean? Vibes. Well, you're yeah, not really getting vibes, are you? No, there's you know no what vibe. Mean, like... What's the vibes? You see the vibes again, is that No, the vibes? You no the vibes. vibes. Back no. in the day on the Oli, you see, we had vibes with this football. With this, no, no, zero vibes. So for me, the idea of them, them trying to back him is because they understand what's going on. They understand that people in the stadium are all there on their phones. Everybody's there on their mm. phones. Nobody, other than the singing section, really. Nobody. The only bit, the loudest cheers were the two penalties and the third penalty we could have been with a handball. That were the three yeah, biggest yeah, yeah, cheers yeah. that <laughs> old You know, I mean, man, like me left early, man. I skipped out of there. I skipped. Do I, I know? Done. Yeah, 15 minutes yeah, ago. Me, I was like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I can't watch this. The Yo, I can't, I can't Bro, I was watch watching, football, man. man. I was watching the watch along, man. And we were talking about everything other than football, man. You know what I mean? Like seriously, man. Like it's you know what it is, yeah. It's like there's no, there's no, there's no like man's bringing on Amrabat. Did he bring on Kambuala? Like we're bringing on defensive like players to see off the game, and I'm like, hold on a minute, man. What's going on here? And then he brings on Anthony for pity minutes. You know what I mean? At, towards the end, man. And I was like, yo, man, man like. Everyone's waiting for the season to finish, but there's still an FA Cup to play for. There's still, it should be that Man United by this stage, yeah, should be fighting for top four. But really and truly, that's done because Villa yeah, eight yeah. points ahead of us and Tottenham are now, what, six points ahead of us with a game in hand as well, on us as well. And they've got some winnable fixtures coming up in the next three. And we've got difficult fixtures in the next three. So it's like, if United don't capitalise, they end up capitalising and then they create that gap even further. You see what I'm trying to say? So, I, I don't. I just think for me, Listen, by now, I, yeah, go on. Yeah, I just, I don't see this pipe dream of Manchester United making it to fifth. We're not, we're not there. I even looked at Chelsea and Newcastle last night. They might be, they I might know. be behind us in the table, but they've got better football in terms of the structure, the way they play, the team structured, the team structured better than ours. At least they can pass yeah. the ball. Yeah, the, you know, I mean, Newcastle are ravaged, ravaged by injuries this season. You know what I mean? They've been ravaged by injuries. Like, Eddie yeah. Howe said they only had, like, three midfielders fit all season. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, they've had injuries to big, big players in different yeah. parts of the game. They just got Willock back after a long time. Willock was out. You know what I mean? Their main mm. striker, he was still out. You know what I mean? So, their goalkeeper is out for the season almost. Isn't he? So, it's mm. like... so. When I, every way I look at Manchester United, I look at 
Are we a physical team? Are we a passing team? Mm. Are we a counter-attacking team? It's I don't know what we are, man. What are we? It's I don't know what we are, man. We're confused on that football pitch. And, yeah, the way Liverpool played, boy, <laughs> the way it's Liverpool finished. played against Man City second half, boy, are we going to get turned apart, mate. Said, you, mate. you are with, listen, you with your, um, you know, the thing behind one you leg. there, you, with your yeah. one leg, <laughs> you're going to get bounced out of that stadium, bro. <laughs> you're going to be sprinting out of that stadium, bro. thinking what the hell is going on. I honestly, I... You know, people Harvey Elliott, though. Know, if we had Harvey Elliott in this my United team, yeah, I swear down to you, yeah, most of our United fan base wouldn't like him, yeah. But because he plays for Liverpool and because Jurgen Klopp gets the best out of him, yeah, everyone's like raving about Harvey Elliott. But if he was at United and he played on the Ten Hag, we wouldn't get the best out of him. I generally mean that. We wouldn't. We wouldn't because at the end of the day, it's what what Klopp provides you. Fair players, players, we wouldn't get. We wouldn't get listen, a lot of I want, out of listen, I want of you players, to man. let me know in the comments. Genuinely, I really want to know in the comments, people. Uh, uh, I genuinely want to know. Do we see it as United fans? Those who are not United fans. Every team has physicality. Every people, yeah, every no. team plays. We don't lose. They play with with kind of like intensity and aggression. Nah. We don't have that. That, that Japanese midfielder bullied Rodri on Sunday, mate. Second half, bullied him. Endo. Endo, yeah. Endo. Endo, buddy. But it's City's midfield, mate, that De Bruyne was moaning. De Bruyne was moaning on all the way to the bench. That's but you know what it is, though? It's like these, the, 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 like Liverpool and that, they buy players to fit their system and to make things work. And we say, again, we can laugh at Casemiro. But you know what Klopp would do with Casemiro? Anyway, Bro. this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Because he wouldn't just let him be stranded in, in that middle of the park on his own. He'll make sure that he fits in the system. You see the best attributes of Casemiro shine through, and everybody will be talking about, yeah, he's going to win them the league. He's the missing piece. Is this? Is that? You come to Old Trafford, bro. They just—it's like they throw their house on you and say, "Catch!" They just throw everything, and they're just like, "What's going on?" You're trying to just <laughs> hold everything. It's like it's pressure. You're you're dragging, like yeah, yeah. it's just too much. You walk in the door and you feel like I can handle my piece of the pie, but is everybody else going to do their part? Because I can do my part and I can do it to a world class level. But if you start then telling me to do this and to, I'm going to struggle. Nothing's going to look world class because you're, you're just yeah. dragging me out. And I feel like every player keeps an. Uh, anyway, why I'm fuming with Eric Ten Hag, because I said it, because I really thought he was going to be the manager to change that based on just what I saw at Ajax. And I think this is why it's just unforgivable for me. Some of the things, some of the football that I'm seeing at Old Trafford now, the fact that I even have to sit here and contemplate was. Was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, was his reign better than this manager's reign? Just tells me everything that, everywhere that I'm at. You know, when you start contemplating these type of stuff and start thinking about these type of analogy, it's just like, Bro, Wilson, what am I doing? People are, te- mm. people are tweeting me today, yeah. I can see people tweeting me saying, Saeed and Rance and all these guys are hounding out Ole out the club, man. This is all on you. You know what I mean? They're saying, yo, you hounded out Ole out the club. <laughs> I said, Bro, we had to get better. What if I want better and then later on, but obviously hindsight's a wonderful thing. Then if we find out this manager probably ain't done a but you know, he's won a trophy, don't get me wrong, yeah. But in reality, the football ain't any better. That's not my fault. It's just he's, he's, he's bottled it. You see, see he's bottled yeah, it's it, he's not our fault. on his TV. He's nah, on his we TV were right. A hundred percent everybody was right to want Ollie out. We were right to want Ollie out. There's no doubt about it. And Ollie told us himself. He said that he came out at half time and nobody wanted to run for him. He knew it was over. That's Ollie's words, my friend. It's got nothing to do with me. He's telling you that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. This is what I'm trying to say, bro. So that's why I'm just like, for me, yeah, like, you know, it is now. I feel like this this year, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Something? Maybe it's just. Can I say something? Yeah, go on. You go, idea, on. go on. Right? I wanted glazers out. Majority of us glazers out. Did we get it? This idea that the <laughs> fan base is hounding people out is like, ridiculous. Now, the pressure comes from when you're not playing good football and you're not winning football games. To me, the biggest thing is the yeah, worst yeah. thing is lose games playing crap. Because at least in a team that were United, to me, I've always said to you, Manchester United are not ready to win a Champions League or the, or the Premier League. 
So we want, I want a good football. I always wanted good football. So this idea that, for me, you want a manager. That's why I never waited Jose, because I knew he would get results. But playing crap football, what's the point? And to me, this Eric Tanai business, the fact that, oh, it's people like you. Oh, great. Wow. How powerful Saeed is to get rid of managers like that at Manchester United. Saeed, come on, man. Let us know. Let the audience know how much power did, did I've I got. Did I did I want the five nil? Did I want that five nil in front of my face where it basically confirmed that he should have been sacked then and obviously he got given a holiday and they were given it. But this guy was no, my guy got a fishing two weeks fishing holiday. No man way, got two weeks man fishing got holiday. holiday. This is what I told you, yeah, you banned them. When Jaden Sancho got a holiday, it had nothing to do with Ten Hag. The club's been giving out holidays, bro. <laughs> Bro, they've been giving out holidays. The club's bro. been giving out holidays. They gave a manager a holiday <laughs> mid-season, bro. <laughs> what type of thing? Bro. And you know what's mad, yeah? The same situation happening here now with this manager. We didn't even go to any Dubai trip to do warm training. Man are out in uh, Paris Wonderland and that. We're having the worst season ever. <laughs> Paris Wonderland, you know? uh... It's crazy. But you know what it is, yeah? Only at my United can we do all this revisionism, man, and not ever look forward and never want to be the best year. I get it, the owners are bad year, but I feel like it's almost like we we always go back on the what's going wrong, what's going wrong. Like the solutions are that this ain't good enough and things need to change. That's what it is. A lot of players need to be moved on. Structure needs to come into the football club. And like I said, yeah, Big change needs to happen for the good of the football club. Because right now, you, what you're seeing right now is not good enough. Like, let's be honest. Everyone can admit it. The level of football is not good enough, man. You know what I mean? And, and that's ultimately what we're here for as well. We're here to see good football. We want trophies. But to get to trophies, man, you still need to play a level of good football. Let's be honest. You still need to play a level of good football to win trophies this season. And the fact that, like I said, yeah, there's some reports that say, like, you know what, Ineos may, may be thinking of, you know, keeping him under good structure. I'm like, nah, man. How about we look at this guy and think he's not good enough for the job, man? Like, generally, man, I'm, I, I don't want to give another penny to him, man. And even if they say, oh, oh, my Berada's going to be getting, the, you know, Dan Ashworth and Paul. Nah, man. I generally think, you know what? He can't get, like, I don't think, he, you know, I'm looking at players that have improved under him. You know, Rashford one season. But then again, I'm like, I'm not sure. You know? Wan Bissaka not rating him anymore. Dalo's improved, fair enough. But then I look at Dalo and think, you know what? He's been up and down his whole career. I'm looking at. I think I think that I think Dalo's best time was at AC Milan. I watched him when he was out there. That's when I was gasping to come back. I think that's his best spell. Yeah, was when he was at AC. Done well over there, man. Compared to what he's had over here. Ineos, I'm onto them, man. They ain't spent no money so far. They haven't spent no money. There's been a lot of talk. We don't know if they're going to be buying players for eighty hundred million. Or if they're going to be going down the route of thirties and forties, and then they're on, and then they're also trying to, trying to was again, um, get a flipping stadium on flipping taxpayers' money. Like I'm onto yeah, them. Yo, that's crazy, man. Yo, yo, yo. I can't lie. Yeah, man. and now you're talking about now they're, you know, <laughs> and now they're talking about keeping the manager. But now they're talking about keeping the manager. So you're talking about keeping the manager to save money. Yo, Saeed's Ineos hope is crumbling, man. What's going on? <laughs> yo, 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 listen. Hope, I'm trying to make a very big hope, Yo, Ineos. Yo, big up. You know what's up, Sophia? Big up, Sophia. Big up, Sophia. Yeah, big up, Sophia. Yeah, Ramadan Kareem, Sophia. Yeah, Ramadan Kareem, man. Make sure you check out. You know what's mad? Mina as well. Big up, our other sister, Mina as well. Yeah, yeah, big up big Mina. Up, as well. up, up. But you know what's mad, yeah, Luridin, yeah? It's the fact that City fans are coming at us now saying, yo, man, you need funding for this for this for this stadium, man. And that's what got me, man. I'm like, yo, City <laughs> fans can't you know talk, man. Yo, they're not that was know. the Commonwealth Stadium, mate. They better shut them down. I know, I know, I know, I know. No one's there it's anyway. Not, I don't want to be like them. I don't want to be like them. They're the six of them and Steven. No, but spend like, money though. If you're gonna go there. But yeah. If you get a stadium of taxpayers' money, then invest that into the club then. Invest that money into the club then. Like football play like into the squad and stuff like that. But if we see that they want to keep Eric Ten Hag because they don't want to pay out the money to him and his team, and then they end up going and getting players and getting people on loan, and if we see him start saving these these pounds and pennies, man, them it's going to be a long time because did you see it's John be a long time. In, still in Spain, John Burton. What I'm saying, that man, they're still <laughs> working. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, what is John Burton doing? Nobody wound us. Nobody wound us. Nobody wanted to hear that. Yo, no, 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 he wound us. Nobody wanted to listen, man. Bro, this guy, we told him not to go to Spain, man. 
<laughs> I said, yo, listen, he went to Spain last summer. I did F all, and now he's in Spain again. Brother, what are you doing here, man? What are you doing I'll here? See the pictures. What are you doing here, man? Unless it's to get rid of Greenwood, in it because they want to sell Greenwood, in it. So, unless it's to get rid of Greenwood, yeah. But they went to Real Madrid as well. They not only went here. Yeah, here, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Greenwood yeah, sells himself, man. He don't need an entourage of people going over there to sell him. Yeah. Greenwood sells himself, mate. They know more about him than than Myrtle does, mate. What does Myrtle know about Greenwood? They're watching him. They know what's yeah. going on over there. It's crazy for it's me dead, to yeah. think about it. It's crazy that how how much the fan base is crazy. The fan base know me. The fan base are everywhere, <laughs> and every time they're out of the country, they get snapped up. Listen, at the end of the day, it's what it is. Listen, like I said, Nero did all right with the youth. He did all right yeah. with the women's team, and now mm -hmm. both of them are going to shambles. Shout. Yeah, and then now <laughs> we see at the end of the day, it's what it is. So I just say this: him and Richard Arnold were there last summer. Uh, fumbled the bag, mate. They fumbled everything, mate. They absolutely crapped themselves. And Barcelona mm. played. You know what? Their Is it the Super League though? Because I don't know if you guys have heard about the Super League. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, listen, man. You know me, man. I'm, I'm for the Super League, man. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, man. <laughs> I wouldn't mind the Super League. I'll be honest with you, bro. Like, yo, we're the shit Super anyway. League. Yeah. Now it's for isn't it? It's like. It's that FIFA, no, you're the FIFA man. generation, aren't you? I don't mind it because you know what it is, yeah? I'm like, where's shit, yeah? So, like, how can we just, like... So, you know, to get boxed every week? You want us to get boxed every week, yeah? No, get but we play big week. games, yeah? We play big games. We play whatever. Like, broski, we ain't climbing up this ladder, you know? Like, we ain't climbing up... This... You know, you want to play Europa League, then? You want to play Europa League, then, Jordan? You want to play Europa League? Listen, that's what we're playing next season. How about that? We're playing nah, Europa listen, League next uh, season. Listen, I'll say it simple, innit? If you want to put it in that... All I say to you is that any Manchester United fan who wants Super League should look at themselves in the mirror. People die for this football mm. club playing in, the, in that competition. To play, it'll, the, the whole thing will run out in terms of the, the novelty of playing big, big clubs, qualifying for the Champions League, playing big oh. clubs. And anyway, the next season's uh, Champions League was all, it will already, it's like a Super League anyway. Yeah, you, have, you, yeah, have, no, you, have, have you seen it? I know. Have you seen it already? I, so know, I don't know where they're getting this <laughs> Super League from. For me, that's when I just go big. I'll get a season ticket FC United, and you'll never see me talk about Manchester United again. That's just me. <laughs> that's just me. That is just me. Because I'm not having <laughs> no, you know it's vulture yeah. capitalists, Americans, vultures. Yeah, no, nah, hey. cream enough of European football. That's what it is. It's more vultures making more money of European football. I'm that billionaire classmate, so I'm not having it. I'm not having it even on that term. At the end of the day, it's not our fault that La Liga need to get better representation and marketing of their league, <laughs> and Serie A need to do the same. I know that the German yeah, yeah, yeah. teams won't join it, <laughs> and I know that um, right. Paris Saint Germain that won't join it. So that's all it is. Is we will be the Burnley. You are right. Yeah, facts. Yeah, we'll we be, be facts. So I, I, I don't want to watch Man United get boxed every week. I'm telling you. No, getting boxed up by Fulham, embarrassingly. The Burnley. I'm getting boxed up by Bayern Munich. I don't know, but I'd rather get boxed up by Bayern Munich than Bournemouth. Nah, you know, nah, 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 nah. Every week. I'm not trying to be, every I'm week. not trying to be the Burnley of the Super League. I'm not trying to be oh, the Burnley of the Super bro, League. That's crazy. We got big Benz, man. Nah, big Benz. Burnley, at least, guys, you listen. Musa. You're disrespecting Burnley. At least they barely play good football. They might yeah, lose them, but they play good football. They, they actually construct the way out from the back. They keep the ball well. You know, they attack. Right, we the worst team in the league. Apart from Sheffield United, yeah, we're the best, like, worst, like, football team in the league, yeah, in terms of just football actually team. playing football. Like, generally, right. when you actually deep it, madam, yeah, like, where the... We're in the bottom five. Everybody. We're in the bottom five. Sean Dyche. Sean Dyche is playing that football. And people, came on, bro. <laughs> you should have been there. You should have been there. Been so there. I can't believe it. I said, Sean died. I went in the bottom five. And you know what? Guess who one of their best players were? Guess who one of their best players were? James Garner. The levels of James Garner compared to. Um, McTominay or someone. It's unbelievable it's levels. And I told everybody yes. when they sold him, I told <laughs> every man and them, Musa, I told them that was a big mistake. I was yeah, like, I can imagine. Got McTominay and getting rid of a footballer. A guy who's captain. 
every age team, age team that has ever been in at Old Trafford. All the youth teams yeah, that... he's been in, he's captained, a leader. He got rid of him. That, that says team. a lot. For that, yeah, team. that says a lot. My guy kept the ball, playmaking, tap, just doing the basics, moves. So the thing that goes unnoticed, no. keeping the ball moving, ticking one he's top, well better getting, about back, getting well into better, better positions. Yep, yeah. he's well better than Tommy. Yeah. That's what we do though. We've been everybody. selling ballers. We've been selling ballers for a minute now. United always get rid of the ballers. Remember Gomez, Angel Gomez. We just no, get rid of Gomez ballers, bro. Killing it. He's killing it. He's cooking. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's no. cooking. And this is what we do. We just don't like ballers. We talk about people being too small, not being. I am just. Yeah. I've, I've said everything I can say about Man United, man. I just mm. don't know what yeah. to say. I don't know how, how else to describe them, man. Yeah, there was a stat, yeah. If you look at uh, McTominay and Garner yes, the other day, I'm going to see if I can get the Sulphur score game, yeah, because that was honestly a travesty on that day, yeah, when you actually deep it, like generally. Because you know what it was, yeah, for me, yeah? It's the fact that one player came off at 20 minutes to go. This was a mad thing about it was. One player came off 20 minutes to go. If yeah, I look at James yeah, Garner now, yeah, look at James <laughs> Garner, yeah, Look at this. 94% pass accuracy. 33 out of Man. 35 passes completed. You know how mad Man. that is? Man just gliding across the pitch, you know? And then when you listen to McTominay, Man. let me see McTominay's one now. Scott McTominay, 73%. And he had 40% of the ball. And James Garner came off when? He came off with 20 minutes to go. Yeah. And still had 50 touches. 50. So Scott McTominay played... The whole 90 minutes, yeah, and had 40 touches. James Garner had 50, and he came off 20 minutes to go, did he, or something like that? Daddy, to be fair to Scott McTominay, we, we don't play, minutes. Daddy, we play hoofball. We don't play through our midfield. You've noticed that. That's why even now Kobe's looking a bit shaky, because we don't play him. I know, I've seen that. He's just got to run out. You know what Kobe's doing? <laughs> running up, running back. Running up, and he looks yep. shattered. He looks shattered now. We're tiring him out. Like, like we're tiring yeah, that show out as well. We're tiring all of them out. Absolutely. Yeah, we're, yeah. Abysmal. we're a mess, so, man. We're a mess. Saying that Mert is there to sign Michelle, the Girona manager. Is that what's going on? I, I would take him. Even though I am a bit... Yeah, yeah, the Girona manager. That's what I'm on. Even though I've got PTSD from getting a manager from abroad. I got PTSD. <laughs> but, but I'll take you. Why, right why, now. why? He can play good football. Yeah. You know what, man? Everyone keeps talking about Big because up to MK United, anymore, by the way. Saeed. I don't trust any. Saeed. Saeed, I don't trust these managers that who play good football in different countries. Graham Potter, then get Graham Potter. Then. Like, Graham Potter. Nah, mate. And that's your boy, mate. Hold <laughs> tight with that Harry Potter, mate. No chance. <laughs> no magical one day. Bro, you were raving away. about him three years ago. You came no, out of Old Trafford and you said, bring David Graham Potter to Old Trafford. You said nah, that. You're all that three years ago. Yourself. Bro, Saeed, you didn't say that. No, I didn't. Saeed, nah, 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 let me say, let me say this. Right, I no, no, think... hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me land, let me land. We came out of the game, yeah? And I remember, and I remember, yeah, we lost two, we won two nil. Ronaldo scored a banger, yeah? I think they had 10 men. And they bumped us off the park with 10 men. And I came out of the ground and we were talking. And you said, get me that Graham Potter out of That's the effing manager. You came out of the ground and you said that. See? Really. <laughs> that was, yeah, and you know what? Ago. And guess what, Ty? He had his chance at Chelsea and what happened to him? My guy oh, shot my like day. a man. Nah, nah, man. My you can't say like that, man. Chelsea's not where he's judging. Why do, we, why do you blame the structure there? Because the structure is not good over there. So nah, he didn't really like, do his job. Listen, Sa 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 it, 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 it was a mad thing to be bought over. You got 50 players, right? I understand that. But having watched him ag again and watched him before he left Brighton, he was like Oli, mate. He'll win so many games, play better football, but he'll go on 10 losing yeah. streak and then 10 winning streak. And that to me is too unstable. But do I think who's the real deal is? Is the Derby's the real deal? He's the guy. Oh, you are he's wild. The deal. The let me just, Derby's let me the get... real deal. Trust okay, okay, me, okay. The, Derby, the Derby with a football structure would cut, mate. And that's the biggest thing what Manchester United are missing. The Derby you're gonna lose, you're the missing guy, mate. Yeah, you've already lost your yeah. head. And I don't mind losing. United. And I don't mind managers yeah. coming to Old Trafford and losing. But if you're going to play better football, then yeah. So if you said to me now, Eric Tanago or Graham, or Graham Potter. Graham Potter. But I think he's failed out okay. of the club. I think he's... But he plays better football. He's shown that he plays better football. But for me, the interview yeah. is just like, like a rabbit in the headlights. I yeah. don't think Manchester yeah. United... No, I think Manchester United... Uh... is too big for him. It's not just 
the way it's the way he was in the press conferences and the way he's like the lads the lads are trying the lads are doing everything like, <laughs> the lads gave it all <laughs> nah you might have taken liberties i think he came from i think he just came from a club i think he came from a club that had the structure around him that kind of also kind of protected him or that allowed him to know that you could just go and coach your team get them to perform and we'll back you and we'll know the process like he doesn't have to come and explain himself to the media when you're at clubs like chelsea and united where at any given moment the structure around you will crumble and, and will throw you into the flipping and lion's yeah, den yeah, yeah, yeah. you always have to come out and, and explain yourself to the media Klopp and people like um pep and them guys they rarely have to do it unless you've unless you've triggered them but by gaslighting them but they don't have to explain themselves to the media if they know the process and they know what they're doing they trust in the people behind it i just feel like even potch everyone was bigging him up he's gone into to, to, to was again chelsea and you've seen what he's trying to do potch ain't a bad manager brother i've seen chelsea play ball this season i've seen what he's trying to establish but at the no, same chelsea, time no, chelsea has that no, but at the same time, we've seen it. Come on, guys. You've seen them play ball, much better ball than we've been able to put together. And that's just them trying to establish something without having a, a out and out striker, buying too many players in one window, and just needed to trim the squad. If you give that guy time, I think you'll have much more um, in terms of a team to be able to you produce and to challenge than, than what Ten Hag would have. <laughs> You know what's mad, yeah? Big up, big, big up to MK9. At this rate, you know, nobody will say teams in League 2 play better football than us, and I wouldn't blame him. You know what's mad, yeah? Do you reckon if Eric Ten Hag went to Chelsea and he had that unlimited money, because he's always talking about unlimited money, yeah? And we had Pochettino. Do you reckon things would have changed in that way? Because I'm, I'm listening, hindsight's a wonderful thing, but do you reckon we were suited more to Pochettino than Eric Ten Hag? Or is it a case of, nah, Eric Ten Hag's just failed, man? And we're just nah, failed, so blind nah, by that. He's failed. To eat. Nah, he's yeah. failed, but I think Poch would have done better. I think if Poch would have been nah, given so. what Eric Ten Hag was. So you much. think, if you, so the power they've given, so you see the power they gave to Eric Ten Hag, if they would have gave that power to Poch to go and get four players that he wants, he wouldn't have got the players that flipping Ten Hag got. Potch would That's have got some players in. I think he would have been aligned more with the with the with the idea of, of you know what, I've got better talent ID. Like I generally think of course he, he would have. have. You know what? Yeah, I reckon because yeah. a lot of this garbage that he's brought in is ten hard. It's, it's ten hard, bro. Come nah, on, he wouldn't have bought in this garbage, man. That's my thing. Yeah, and if he would have failed, he would have failed and left us with better players. He wouldn't have left us with what Eric Ten Hag's trying to leave us with. No way at all, man. Yeah, I don't believe so. Oh, <laughs> I mean, the question, listen, the yeah. question mark is still around Poch as well. Let's not get too giddy. No, I agree, question I agree. The question mark is still agree. around Poch. It's still around Poch, mate. Let's see, let's see if he gets a chance at Chelsea and turns it around with this young team. Because the chaos is not mm. what, what Potter was there. It's not there anymore. It's not. There's no excuses for him either. Mm. I'm looking at yeah. this Even team, Paul Palmer. I'm looking at this spend, team. When I look at the building, I'm seeing. Second, Musa, the building yeah. that they spent, I don't know what they spent because the defense is quite quite shaky. If you ask me, they're defensive. No, I'm with you, but I see little, I see stars in that team, man. I see people playing, and I see them playing a, a, a style of football that they're about two. I said they're about two players off. I think they're a solid striker and another defender. Yeah. I think they've got players. I don't think they're that far off. And once they, and once they hit, it's a talented squad, man. There's no way I'll diss that squad. And once they hit, Musa, I didn't say that. I said the defense. Yeah, they haven't got anything in their defense that makes me think they're gonna. Yeah, you know it is. They don't. They don't they, they, they rely players. too much on they Thiago. They rely too much on Thiago. They, they just spent a uh. billion and a half, and I'm like, what have you done at the back? And I'm so happy that Saeed did that video, and I knew that guy anyway. This that this the CC disaster mate. He's disaster class. Disaster, yeah, he's, disaster. He's, yeah. He, he, he's, <laughs> he's good on the ball. Don't get it twisted, but. No, he's not the worst. That, you see some of these players, horrendous. some of these players that these lot have got, I won't be surprised after um, doing a year in the Prem if we see something different from them next season. And then everybody will be eating their words. They'll be like, oh, yeah, like, I won't be surprised because it happens all the time. I just feel like mm. players used to have much more time to adapt to the Premier League than they do now. Now, if you haven't adapted in your first quarter, your first two, three months in the Premier League, people are saying you're suspicious. You go into six months into a year, they're saying, boy, all eyes are on you. When before, 
the players Chelsea, used to take Chelsea 18 months. This chat, man. The Chelsea fans are not having this chat. They say, yo, man, nah, man. He wants to keep Gallagher in here and that. But listen, we've got McTominay, man. So he wasn't <laughs> anyway, This is man. what I'm saying. Yeah, what is he cost- talking about? You know what it is, yeah? Well, I, man, the, the whole Ten Hag regime, man, it's made everyone concuss, man. Everyone's overthinking things. Everyone's trying to think, look at things in a different way and how can this have worked? <laughs> Bro, that's what this Ten Hag has done. Ten Hag has made us believe that players are shit. Some players are not great. Casemiro's saying he's washed. Like, we honestly, bro, we're just believing things that I'm telling you, a better manager would take out the good, take out the bad, and leave the good. You know what I'm saying? And actually get this team properly playing football in a way that at least people can believe in. Listen, you know? sorry, but we don't have that. We can't even keep the ball. And you know what? Fans tell me now. I'm like, I don't even want to see Pants to play. We can't even keep the ball. The ball is like a hot potato. <laughs> and we lose it. Every opportunity we get, we play who's ball. <laughs> I, I, the Everton game, I see it clearly. It's there. It's clearly there. You see it. They're dominating yep. the ball. And we're playing like the away team. We did that against Spurs. We did that against Bournemouth. What's going on here? Fulham did that to us. Bro. Fulham <laughs> popping it about. So if, if, I, if you ask me the question, what was the last good half that we played on the Everton Hags train? Was um, against Villa in December. Villa against December. Villa, yeah, Villa. Villa in, in December. December. Maybe West Ham. Maybe West Ham at second half. But, nah, they yeah. still had, they had twenty something shots. I say twenty something <laughs> <laughs> shots. That's what West Bro. Ham had. and West Ham. And if it wasn't for that Brazilian guy, they would have had at least two. Would have been two two if he would have pulled the trigger and passed the ball properly. Emerson, he was the biggest letdown for them. We got Emerson. a deflected goal. Yeah, Emerson yeah. had amazing chances inside the box. Mm-hmm. You know what's mad, yeah? Did you see the same, by the way? Jude. Julian Nagelsmann, did you hear the news yesterday that he wants a club, yeah, before April or May? I can't lie, man. If he's available, go and get him, man. If we waste our time, yeah, because if he's available, he wants to make a decision before in April or May. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't want, want him. To... I, I promise Why? you, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to it's gonna be a disaster. I don't, I don't want how, him. How, how, how? Based, I don't, on I don't, what? I, Based on what? Listen, I, I don't rate his, his, his style of football. Manchester United don't have the players. He's to me. And that's what we need, play. already. This is what you don't get. Let if you say this guy, now. he will. So, him and okay, Johnny Evans and Harry Maguire. Johnny Evans and Harry Maguire halfway they line. They won't start. They won't start. Listen, hold on. Are a you kidding me? This Sai, is why. Sai, Sai, let, me, let me make another point. N- Nangelsman is not the guy that Manchester United should go and get. It's the guy who's Premier League proofing. It's the guy that improves players. Every player that's played under him improves. And that's the Serbi. Because if the United don't get him, he's going to be the next Manchester City manager. Mark my words. You've heard it here first. Nangosman, for me, has to go and get another job somewhere else, prove it again in another league, and then we'll be able to go wow. to the Manchester United. Nah, man. For me, he went to Bayern Munich, and you know what? It's like a, it's like a, it's honestly, it's like a fish out of water. Doing it at Leipzig is different. Going to Bayern Munich and then getting sacked at Bayern Munich. Why did he get sacked for it? Well, he, got, he got wrongly sacked, man. He got wrongly it's sacked, man. The bad. players turned on him. They didn't like the fact that he was coming in uh, uh, roller skating and that to the stadium and that. They didn't like him, man. They didn't like him, bro. They, they sacked him too 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 soon for me, man. There was indivision, bro. There was so much divisions in the dressing room and whatnot. They didn't rate his personality. They didn't rate that the fact that they couldn't respect him because he was too young. Like there were so many conflicts and politics, man. Like he's a good coach. You know what I'm saying to you? But is he is his style? Have I looked at his style in the past and thought, you know what? Not sure about it. Fair, I have. Because I've had conversations with Statman Baines about this. But I'm looking at a manager that's gonna get rid of a lot of these players because they're not good enough. This is why I sometimes believe deserve it might be the answer, because it's like, you know what? A lot of these players won't survive under survey. I want a manager that a lot of these players won't survive. I want a manager that a lot of these players are not gonna be playing. I swear down to you. I want a fresh clean start, man, because that's what I think for me will build a project where, you know what, they can then back the manager. Because if he says right now, I don't want that player because they don't fit my philosophy, then the club have no choice but to get rid of them. They have no choice but to say you are leaving. Yeah? And if you don't leave, you're going into the under 23s or whatever. You are leaving. And I'm with that. But if you bring a manager in who maybe it could be a great part, maybe it could be someone who's very protective over the players and say, you know what, cool, I'll see if I can work with them and they get a manager bounce, et cetera, et cetera. That's where it's wrong for me. I mean, every That's manager wrong. does that. I'm sorry to say, but every manager thinks, they have their ego, they think, I'm going to get the best out of this guy. Remember when Tanha came in, it was like, 
yeah, I'll improve that game. What has he improved? Let's be honest out here. We've gone opposite. We've gone the other way because yeah. he overplayed him and he, he killed them in terms of overplaying yeah. them. And then he's wondering why they're getting injuries. Yeah. So at the end of the day, yeah. for me, this Derby's the guy that's proven in this league with better quality than Brighton. You would. But I think the Derby is the same the situation. We'll see you later. It'll be like. See I you think later. he's in the same situation as Harry Potter. If and I'm, I'm one, if I'm one. Listen, let me finish with that. The biggest thing about this Serbi, he ain't a manager, he's a coach. He's the guy who's going to coach. He's going to coach, mate. And if players don't want any of these things, then they'll get found out. Because then, with Saeed's Ineos boys, they're going to be there watching it and watching him. And if the players are not performing to what he asks, then the players should be getting headed out. That's what it should be. What's the yeah. point of having a structure if you can't yeah. get rid of him if the people are disturbing the manager's way of playing? Yeah, pick up Olu says, um, do you remember Klopp's second season where he dominates but didn't win anything? You could see his attacking intent and he was riddled with injuries. This is what I'm saying, and we'll touch on it more on Lord's podcast here, but that's what I'm saying. Injuries are not an excuse, man. When you got Amrabat, when you got all your players that you brought in here, it's like Mason Mount. I'm seeing Mason Mount prop on the internet. I'm like, come on, man. Where is he going to play, man? What's he going to do, man? What's he going to give me that something different? Seriously. Like, genuinely, man. Like, I'm tired. I'm really, really, I'm tired of, you know what, this player's back. Mason Mount's back, the season starts. Like, come on, man, he ain't going to, I don't know if he starts. Where does he play? Does he play on the left I've wing? I've always said, right wing? I've always said that he's a squad player. And I said that if you, if you were, because I think he's better than McTominay. And I was saying, if you were spying him, yeah, no, nah, cool. But I just think that's the price these days. And I feel like Grealish is a squad player and he's a hundred million. So I just feel like if he's a squad player, that's all I want to hear. But don't tell me he's a starter. Just tell me he's going to be on the bench and when we need something to happen, something to change, something to keep the standards on the pitch, but but have some impetus in terms of changing the game, then cool, bring on Mace Amount. But if he thinks he's going to be here demanding this number seven shirt and starting, it's all a myth. Just give him the... Just get that shirt off him and just make him a squad player. I think... And yeah. I think that should be the minimum of a, of a United player in terms of what we have on the bench. I don't think we should have anything because is he a talented player? Does he have talent? Mason Mount. Yes, he does. But can you count on him to be your main man? No, you can't. So that's just... I think that's just the bare minimum what we should be expecting at Man United in terms of the type of players we've got on the bench. Because we don't even have those type of players on the bench. We're wasting time. We're trying to get people like Amrabat. We're working with McTominay. We're just... I don't know what we're doing. I just don't understand what's going on at Man United right now. But like I said again, I just feel like as bad as it is for Chelsea, they, they just think it to themselves, get us the right manager, get us a number nine, things that will change. At United, it's not just that. It's not just about getting the new manager. There's so much more that's going to have to happen for us to really be competing. Like I said, yeah. yeah. when I look at the Chelsea team, if everyone, if, if all that talent plays out to be what everyone expects them to be, that's a team that will challenge for the league with one or two players. Because that's not, that's not, that's not simple talent. The players they went and got are not simple players. That midfield of, of, uh, of was again, um, is it was again Enzo and flipping Caicedo? It's not yeah, simple yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, Caicedo. That, yep. Yeah, that that Cole, that Cole Palmer guy that they got is not a simple player. I see him. I see him chilling with the man them in the hood. I knew there was something dodgy about this kid because <laughs> I was yep. thinking he's a proper baller. Then I see him with a couple of the brothers in the hood, and I was like, okay, he's about this life. So there's few players that they have. That I'm like, I, I would be over the moon if Man United went and got them. There's so many players mm. that they got, I'll be excited for. If you told me we could partner up um, Kobe Mayno with either one of their midfielders, I'll be excited. Either mm. one of yeah. them. You told me you could. Just, do, just, just, yeah. Just, just, That's it. yeah. No, no, it was after for a while, man. But we got, we should have gone for five million. Just to kind of, guys, it's over a thousand people and not even 500 likes, guys. What's going on, guys? That's, you know, that's the biggest thing, man. Yeah, it, man. You know, I'm giving you straight jacket point. people, yeah. I like the glazers, mate. I swear to God. <laughs> Come on, guys. Like the video. We need 500 <laughs> likes. Half of you at least like the video. Let's talk on Anti for the final segment of the show, people. Uh, Anthony. Um, has no desire to leave my United. He accepts he has a challenge and to win back his spot. 
Surprise, surprise, Taib. Surprise, surprise. I had to get, I had to get my, I need to get my camera back for that last else. day. <laughs> Bro, apparently the investigation <laughs> is still ongoing. I thought, the, I thought, he, but I thought his investigation was over. Is it still ongoing? Yeah, it's still ongoing, man. He ain't bus case. He ain't bus case. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. But yeah, yeah, Anthony, he still wants to, you know what I mean? He still feels he's a challenge, man, then, man. Still, still challenge for him. No, he's I'm thinking, ready yo, to give Anthony another now, chance. You know? I wanna, I'm ready to see him. I want to see him under a new manager. I know no, Nordy mentioned last week. No. No. I want to see him. I want to see him. You were double A, man. Double A said that as well. Was it double A said that? Who said it yesterday, the other day, guys? Let me know in the chat. Yeah, I want to see but him. But yeah, man, like I said, I want to see him. I want to see him. You know what? Is he saying that because he knows the manager's leaving? So he's like, say, he's kind of like telling people that, yo, I'm I'm willing to stay and that, like, yo, no, don't worry about he, me. No, he's hearing news and it's like, yo, I ain't getting this money anywhere else. Didn't mean he's saying, like, yo, you're on a long term contract, sit still. I was, did he get four years or was it four years or five? So he look it up. Was it five years or four years? Four, five years. Four, five years. Uh, four, let me four, see. Four, the day that the day that Man United fell apart, man. Let me see. <laughs> Anthony has signed. <laughs> no, we fell apart. It's not his fault. It's not his fault. We fell apart way before then. No, no, hundred percent, man. Five year deal, yeah, five year. Rah, it's not. It's still into twenty twenty seven. It's got scary. Three you know years, what's man. scary about us though? It's that we sign players that we can't even get half the money. Yeah, back. Double half a. the money. Yeah, we can't even get half the. That's what scares me about our signings. How can you not even be able to get fifty percent back of what you've just spent in less than eighty months? Nah. Like, it's scary. Yo, big up double A, my scary. brother. Big up, big up. Yeah, big up double A, man. man. Now, you know what it is, yeah? We can't get that, bro. That's because the football club is, is the way it is. You know what I mean? The structure and the fact that these men are out here in Spain and that like, flipping, running around like flipping. You know what I mean, bro? Man are running around like salesmen. You know the salesmen and that? You know the door-to-door -door sales? Man are running. Yo, listen. They're telling them, come to our doorstep. Yo, these man city, man, these man city guys say to him, yo, you come to our place, man. Come to Chester. Come to Cheshire and that. Say, so you come on our doorstep. Man are running around like, Headless chickens, you know, going to Barcelona. You come to our doorstep, man. Yeah, you know I mean, if oh. you want the player, come to Manchester. Yeah, we go running around to Spain, you know. Yo, that's just to catch crazy. a quick talent, nah, nah, that. Saudi Arabia will help us, man. Saudi Arabia nah, will help Saturday us. Saudi Arabia ain't helping us, man. It's no Sa Saudi Arabia is buying better players, bro. They're buying better players. Come on, man. They're going to buy better players than oh, Who was it? Listen, who was that? Who was that Oscar talented Brazilian Chelsea? He went yeah. to China, man. Anthony should do that, you know. I think I should do that. I swear, he's, the only place where he's getting better wages is Saudi Arabia. Big up whoever said that in the chat, by the way. Big up. Big up whoever said nah, that in the I chat. I think China don't pay that sort of money No, anymore. no, no. I think you Oscar to... did that. Remember Oscar? Oscar did Yeah, but that was time like, ago, man. That was like yeah, 10 Oscar years ago. Yeah, Oscar was like, yo, I need. I can look after my whole community, man. Yo, you know you where you should Oscar go? Like, J -League, I can look after the whole Go where Jesse Lingard is in J-League, man. Is it South Korea or the J-League? Where is he at? Jesse Lingard, big nah, up nah, Jesse Lingard, by the way. He found for Korea, he was in the, was in the Korean league. Yeah, so, Korea, man. Go over there, man. Oh, Kick man. Kick back out of that, man. You know what I'm saying? No, no, Saudi Arabia will be proper for him because he'll he get paid a double. He's in he's getting paid at United. Yeah, China has a salary cap now, man. They have a salary yeah. cap now. No, I was just saying, I was yeah. using that. Listen, I know <laughs> that, but I was using Oscar oh, as okay. an example. Oscar at his height, dipped in it, and Oscar was a better baller than... Oscar was balling yeah. for Chelsea. He's a brilliant player also, for Chelsea. Also, I think he did that as well. Um, Witzel did it and came back to Europe. Yeah, Witzel did it. He came back to Europe. Who else did it? I think, um, is it Carrasco, guys? Carrasco went to China yeah, yeah, and yeah, came yeah, back. Yeah. There's a lot of players, you know, that have, that have it done was, it. And you know, it was back COVID, to the league, man. you know. It was the COVID, it was the COVID thing, innit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it. Did it. Remember, and, and listen, on, 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 on Caligalo as well. You know what I mean, Igalo. Hi, Uncle Igalo, man. Yo, listen. But you know what is with Uncle Igalo, though? He actually said it, you know, money or playing at the highest level. He said, yo, give me the money, man. I think he said something along the lines anyway, man. He was like, yo, are you motivated by money or this? And he's like, bro, come on, man. When you go to, to Saudi Arabia, you're motivated by money. It's fair. Yeah, Hulk did it as well. Hulk did it as well. But, bro, we need to get rid of a lot of players, man. So all this idea that we're going to, yo, we're going to have to be, bro, this summer might be after to just get rid of players, man. Because I can that count can save on... Us for me, it's that Barada can speak Arabic, innit? <laughs> That's how yeah, Barada, yeah, 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 yeah. You can speak Arabic, <laughs> innit? And hopefully get, get the Saudi, mate. Go shopping. Man, I should be going... Selling stuff to, to Saudi Arabia, not bloody Barcelona. Bro, man, that's what I'm Barcelona saying. Barcelona broke, mate. Barcelona broke, mate. Who are you doing? Bro. 
player out, man. You get me? Oscar Tevez, Levesi, Jackson. Yeah, man. A lot of them went there, man. Go get your bag and go do what you got to do, man. Like I said, man, it's one of them where, you know, life is too short, man. But we need favours, man. We need, we need, I don't know, Europe, man. The thing is with United, though, man, Nuruddin, have we ever been raided, like, properly? Like, you know what I mean? Like, has anybody come to our club and said, yo, we want this player, we're going to buy this player off you? Like, they've not Ronaldo. done that, you know, for a while. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo was the last one. And who else? That's it. That's it. That's is that it? Remember. That's it. Uh, yo, well, Leeds, listen, we, we got Leeds bad with Dan value. James. Leeds with Dan James. Leeds with Dan James, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apart from Blin, that, Elango. Blin. Ajax, you said Blint who wanted Ajax, yeah. But Blint, we sold it for cheap, man. Oh, man, I would literally play Blint right now, bro. I swear down, man. I swear what down. Blint was cultured cool. footballer, eh? What Culture one... footballer, man. We sold Javi Are, Hernandez for cheap. against Liverpool when he scored that off the corner? Oh, nice. Top corner. Oh. Nice, man. Nice move, man. I was on we, the we sold a lot of good players for cheap, you know. We said, oh yeah, Lukaku. But then again, we didn't make money on Lukaku. We didn't make money on Di Maria. It was straight. The sell, only player, like, you know. actually, the only couple of players we made money on was, was Mike Smalling and uh, yeah, 10 million. And, 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 and Dan James. Angel Gomez, did he not go for free? How much did Angel Gomez go for? I think he went for free. Gomez signs yeah, yeah. for Lil. Yo, big up, big up, man. He's doing bits in Lil, man. Big up to him. Oh shit! Yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, he did. He go for free. Let me see if, how much did he go so, for. Yeah, I think he went for. He didn't sign the contract. He was supposed to sign a new contract. He didn't sign. Oh it. yeah. Yeah, he went. Oh he went wow! Remember, remember we saw his brother. Remember we saw his brother. I spoke. Yeah, to we his saw brother. his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I saw him brother. on the road as well another time, and I was like, "What is he doing, man? Just tell him to stay, man." You know. Nah, you man. But you know, you gotta respect yourself. But you know what, United, man, politics. Remember that guy that was um that came up to us um. Outside, um, where was it, man? We were filming outside first. Yeah, 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 and he yeah, said he was yeah, better yeah. than Rashford. He said his son, yo, yo, shout out to his son, yeah. He came up, there's a funny story, yeah. There's a United Academy player, yeah. He came up to me in Luridan and he goes, man, the club, man, look what they're doing to my son. And I can't remember which player it was, yeah. I don't know who it was, yeah. But he said he was better than Rashford in training. And he said that all the, the, the club, like, they, they rated him so highly and they, and they basically let him go. You know what I mean? And they didn't really rate him, and it just it was shame that was a lot of favoritism in the club, and it was all about PR and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, man, and wow. it was a deep story, man. And it just shows you with Angel Gomez, it was about PR, and and you know what? Does he is it? You know they looked at him as a short player and whatnot, like as someone who couldn't survive in the Premier League, but yet yes, still he he'll be well better than flipping McTominay. So it's yeah, it's man. It. We just gotta keep moving, man. We just gotta keep moving and keep doing what we're doing. But like I said, man, all gearing up towards um <laughs> all towards uh thinking tomorrow. Nuri, you're gonna be on the Mandem talk tomorrow. Are you about? We're doing the Mandem talk tomorrow if you're around only. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send the link, man. Send okay. the link. Send the yeah, link. Yeah, tomorrow Mandem talk will be previewing the Liverpool game. But guys, please make sure what you like time the video. Will that be on? People, we'll be on at five, yeah. Five. I'll be on five, five, yeah, five yeah, o'clock, yeah. five o'clock, people. But guys, make sure you like the video. We're on let me see how many likes we're on. 1,000 in the building. We're on 397 likes. 100 more likes, guys. 100 more likes. Big up to Violent. I still don't get how Rashford survived and Depay was sold. Man was balling out 2015 times with shit in United. Bro, I was there his debut. You know his debut? Depay. I thought, bro, we've got an unbelievable player here. He scored two goals against, was it Copenhagen or was it against Bruce? Yeah, yeah, in the Europa League. And I think my Bruce and no, it was Champions League qualifiers, bro. It was Champions League qualifiers, bro. Man scored one outside the box. I was like, yo, the step the overs, step arrived. overs. I remember the oh, step overs, man. man. Another player we ruined, man. I like that, yeah, player, but man. because you know we what, the club was there to to take care of people, to take care of people when they come here, they leave them to it, and that's what happens anyway. We're yeah, not, man. Listen, we're, we're, we're not one of these, yeah. We're not one of these, yeah. Big up, sunshine, man. Love. Big, big up, up Sunshine, big up. yeah, big up, man. Yeah. yeah, number seven curse, man. That's what I'm saying, man. And now Mason Mount's got it as well. You know what I mean? Man's been injured for the whole 10 months, man. It's crazy. But listen, people, um, make sure you head over to Nuridin's channel right now. We're going to be live over there um, talking about the injuries Saeed. and Ahmed Diallo situation. Saeed, have I got... Oh, listen, everybody who's on that bandwagon, I've got... I've come with the stats today. I've got the stats, right? Everybody who's on that, but the injuries, it's because of the injuries. Yeah. Injuries. You come here now, and I'm going to statistically prove that 
Manchester United are not even second. They're not even third mm. on the most injuries this season, Saeed. What does that tell you? We'll see. Head over now, people. And then I'm going to have Iftar. And then we're gonna we're gonna um do the Arsenal watch, watch along as well later on. Yeah. So make sure you're there for the Arsenal watch along. Well, let's call it hate along actually. So guys, United Real Therapy, head over there right now. We'll hey, see you soon. Oh, Take care, bro. No, hey, no, we don't want. No, I listen. They win the Champions League. That, bro, we can't allow them to have the Yo, Champions League, bro. Listen, I didn't even know he's blocked you, man. You can't, but not love. Ian right. I don't know why it blocked you. I don't know why it blocked bro, you. Bro, you know what it was? Because I, I talked team. about Rashford. Because obviously Rashford gives him all the access in it to these events and that in it. So I just called him out, man, and he blocked me. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. I respect his career, but I can't respect him, man. But guys, we're out. Peace.